Cause it's Sunday afternoon, 5 p.m. I just woke up, gonna go ahead to the gym and then afterwards go to work. Uh, gonna be taking the camera along with me, showing you guys a day in the life of a paramedic who recently graduated medical school. Uh, hope you guys enjoy. Thank you for having me. Press one, puppy. Okay. Press one, please. Okay. One. The one in the box. Hey, good job. High five. Good job. Press one, press one, press one, press one, press one. Okay, so we're at the gym now. Um, fortunately, me and my wife couldn't work out together today like we usually do because it's the weekend. So there's no uh, babysitting service available at the gym. On a typical day, like a Monday through Friday, we work out together uh, and then we leave the kids with the uh, kids club at the gym while they babysit them. We work out together and then we pick up the kids and go on our way and continue our day. But since today's the weekend and the kids club is not available, what we're gonna do is, or what we're doing is, she just went in by herself. She's gonna do about 40 minutes of uh, cardio and resistance training and I'll stay with the kids inside of the car giving them some good old Oreo McFlurry from Mickey D's. I'm sure they're gonna love that instead of the kids club. Good job, boy, mi amor. Um, so he just asked for ice cream in Spanish. All right, so the little one is knocked out. And the big one's getting the new onset sugar rush. <laughs> um, so and I'm waiting on my wife. After this, I'm gonna go drop her off, drop the kids off, and then I'm gonna rush back to the gym so I can get my workout and then get ready for work. Welcome. Hi. So now it's 8 30. I took a shower. I took a cold shower to be exact. Uh, I got my uniform on. My wife prepared my uh, bag. Inside the bag, I got my books. I got my headphones. I got some toiletries. I got my lunch. Right here, I have uh, apple and carrot juice. I also have a smoothie and uh, some green tea. This is the uniform. Here's the patch that signifies my level of training and my scope of practice. I love you, Bobby. I love you, baby. Hey, Masami. He's camera shy. <laughs> Check the status on the crew that's supposed to be here. And uh, they're on a late job. A late job is basically when you get dispatched to a call that's going to make you. Uh, stay on the vehicle and provide patient care until after your off time. So if the late job was, let's say, somebody complaining of 
feeling flu symptoms, then they're gonna be here shortly, most likely. But if the person had a life-threatening emergency or went into cardiac arrest, then it's gonna be a while. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna continue to drink my five-course meal <laughs> and uh, continue reading the uh, USMLE first aid. I've done three rounds of UWorld. I've also done uh, one read through all my notes that I took on from UWorld, the annotated uh, notes. And now what I'm doing is I annotated on the USMLE 2016 version. So what I'm doing is I purchased the uh, 2018 and I'm basically looking to see if there's anything here that's new that might be on the test that's not on the 2016 version that I'm more familiar with. So that's what I'm doing now, all right? So I'll be reading biochemistry. And I plan to read this about two times. So we don't always have to wear a bulletproof vest in New York City, but there's some call types that come over that it's actually a good idea to put them on. We're not mandated to wear them, but we're working in the Bronx and this neighborhood could be a little dangerous sometimes. So I'm gonna put it on for peace of mind. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Reynolds Kyrus. I'm a New York City paramedic and I'm also a recent medical graduate. I am, I obtained a degree in a doctor of medicine and I'm working towards getting my um, residency in emergency medicine here in uh, New York City. I'm also interested in anesthesia, OBGYN and surgery. I started as an EMT in 2003 when I was 17 years old. I took my EMT class and I was 18 when I took the exam. I was an EMT for four years and then I went on and became a paramedic and advanced life support provider in 2007. Um, and then I entered medical school in 2010 and graduated from medical school in 2017. Um, I've been working as a pre-hospital care provider all ever since 2004. And that training at that point was three minutes, I'm sorry, three months. And I believe now it's actually six months during that training what you received is basically training on how to take a blood pressure, training on how to control bleeding, training on the Heimlich maneuver, and a bunch of uh, lay rescuer uh, uh, medical interventions, and they teach you the basics of uh, medical terminology and um, the basics of emergency medicine. The paramedic course, uh, mine was 11 months because I did a certificate in paramedicine but you also have the option to get the associates in paramedicine, which is uh, two years, if I'm not mistaken. During this course, during during this training, you you learn how to read EKGs, how to uh, use a cardiac monitor, how to recognize and treat accordingly uh, medical emergencies. And as far as the uh, process to go through it, you could just Google, uh, Google, uh, EMT course and uh, paramedic course. Well, you have to be an EMT prior to becoming a paramedic. There, after you graduate from EMT or paramedic paramedic school, you have two options. You could either work as an inter facility EMT or paramedic, which basically is you transport patients either from their house. I'm sorry, from a hospital to another hospital, or a hospital to a nursing home or from either one of those places back to their residence. So that's like an inter-facility transport. And uh, you could also then work as a 911 EMT or paramedic. 911 EMTs or paramedics are the ones that show up at your house when you call 911. We usually show up with, uh, depending on the call type, depends on what you call the ambulance for, we usually show up with uh, the police department and also with the fire department depending on the resources necessary on that type on that assignment i would i would compare it to like the infantry we're like the infantry of medicine uh, paramedics and emts are the infantry of medicine where we're the frontline people where 
we're the first ones to respond to the call we're the first ones to receive the patient and we see them in the very 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 acute setting by the time uh, a surgeon or an emergency medicine physician sees the patient we've already been with them for a while and we get to see them we got to see emergency medicine in the rawest form good morning guys i just got out of work it's uh now nine in the morning um the day or the shift was pretty eventful we had literally no downtime the entire tour uh, we had a lot of patients one patient after the other a uh, large variety in patients we had uh stable patients we had critical patients we had patients who were in really bad shape we did what we could we expedited the transport to the hospital some some patients we had to notify the hospital before we getting there so they could get a head start in preparing for the patients and i'm gonna sign out and i would like to thank dr webb uh thank you very much sir for the opportunity to uh, shine some light on uh, pre-hospital care and EMTs and paramedics. Thank you for everything you do, sir. And thank you for everything that you will eventually do. Um, Cause I know you have uh, great things on the horizon. And guys, thanks for watching the video. Have a good day.